But so often we run into people who feel stuck and they want some advice on how to get unstuck. How do I make a change? How do I have a new beginning? I think the, the fact that somebody's asking that as they've already taken the first step. They want to have a new beginning. They've noticed there's something amiss in their lives and they want to do something different. The one key principle to keep in mind about having a new beginning is that a new beginning is different than having a do-over. If, if we just want to wipe the slate clean and we don't change the boundaries, if we don't change uh, the things that, that we're doing, we might succeed in wiping the slate clean, but it will only be a matter of time before the slate looks exactly like it did before we wiped it clean. Unless we begin anew, unless we have uh, something fundamentally different within ourselves. The first step to take um, in having that new beginning is desiring that new beginning. I think that's one of those keys in, in taking that step. The other one is um, actually uh, the, this determination to make a to make a move, to take some action, and really consider what are those things that I do need to change. There's a, an ancient Greek philosopher that said that the up road and the down road are actually the same road. It only matters what direction you're facing. So if I've been on the down road and I want to change myself to being on the up road. I just need to turn my heart. That turn is the biggest thing that we can do to have a new beginning. Put myself on the up road to face a forward walking direction.